<laughs> All right, welcome back. It is now time for whoa, your whoa, opening. Whoa, whoa, calm wait, wait. down. I don't know how to do it. This Sheesh. is my first time starting this off. Do you wait till the music's... <laughs> well, okay, you, now I do Give right? it a chance to start. <laughs> you know, go, go, go. I can't wait. Just wait she's waiting <laughs> for the buzzer. Right, yeah. exactly. Okay, now, now welcome back. It is time for your Today's Talker. And we now know Hugh Jackman will be back as Wolverine in Deadpool 3. That's after actor Ryan Reynolds made this announcement on his social media Tuesday afternoon. Completely empty up here and terrifying. But we did have one idea. Hey, Hugh, you want to play Wolverine one more time? Yeah, sure, Ryan. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's to the point. Well, the video broke Twitter with more than 278,000 retweets and a million likes. This will be Deadpool's first appearance in the Marvel Cinematic Universe following Disney's purchase of 20th Century Fox. Jackson and Reynolds have had a long-standing bromance that has included playfully teasing each other on social media. Deadpool 3 debuts on September 6th. But you have to wait till 2024. I saw this on the Twitter machines yesterday, and I was like, I don't know, I guess I'm not into the Deadpool franchise. So I sure. caught my eye that there were two major celebrities sitting on a couch, and then I was just like, all right. Whatever. Do, do they live together? I didn't know he. I, Jack, I don't think so. That might be a whole other talker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but uh, I don't think so. I mean, I I like the Deadpool franchise. Yeah. I think Ryan Reynolds is so funny, and Hugh Jackman said he was going to retire as Wolverine. So this is a moment that he is now back. Simone, are you into these things? No, I haven't <laughs> seen one, two, won't see three. But he's handsome. I would watch it for him. Mm -hmm. See, there you go. I, you know those change.org petitions? Uh -huh. I saw a change.org petition that was trying to get Danny DeVito to play Wolverine in the next <laughs> Wolverine movie if there was Not okay. as threatening of a Wolverine. Yeah. It'll be That'd like be me great. playing Wolverine. <laughs> Give yourself some credit, a little better than that. <laughs> a little bit better than Danny DeVito, maybe a tiny bit taller. Uh, we've got another talker this morning, uh, Lizzo. She made some history with an unlikely creative collaborator. The U.S. Library of Congress, a national archival institution, lent her a crystal flute wow. first owned by President James Madison in the early 1800s. Now, Lizzo tweeted that she became the first person ever to play the crystallic relic, and after 200 years, it came out pretty good. Take a listen. There you have it. All right. I actually saw somebody on Twitter say, uh, how would we explain this to President Madison? <laughs> yeah, right. That's a good point. I would like to exactly <laughs> Twerking <explain> Lizzo. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But nevertheless, I mean, she's such a talented artist yes. that mm -hmm. she was able to just she rock what she it. Was doing. I wouldn't want to drop that thing. Yeah, Lizzo can do no wrong. Could you no. imagine if you just if you dropped it? Nope. I don't want nothing to do with that. Yeah, that, that maybe that's why it should be under glass somewhere. Yeah. Right. So, Simone, you are a Lizzo fan? Yes, I love I love how Tom didn't want to say his line that our producer put in there. What did it say? She right. said it's about dang time. Oh, oh, oh yeah. no, Mom, you know what? Normally I'll read any of that stuff, but I it was one of those things where I was just trying to speed it up and get to the to the sound. Sure. So I missed it. Mm -hmm. It's about okay. damn yeah. darn time. Yeah. Good excuse, Tom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>